Hey guys, Miles J here, and this week has been going by extremely slow. Last weekend, uh, I think I went to Rocky Horror Picture Show, I don't, yeah, and that actually turned out to be really awesome. Um, I think I have some photos here, you guys can look at those. It was amazing, we were um, Rocky Horror virgins apparently, so what they had me do is they had me, um, hump somebody. That was a very interesting experience for me. Um, it was actually a lady and you know you had to like hump her really hard or else she wouldn't win and be like in the show. So it was really fun. Yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh! So today was a rather good day. It went by pretty fast I think. So in theater we were storytelling. It was an assignment you know. Of course I was gonna go up there and read about a boy that I had liked. Cause that's just me. I just, I just can't help it, you know. So I was gonna do that. But then I thought to myself, like two days before I had to perform, I was like, I don't feel like, you know, this way about this boy no more. So my tone changed, and it changed into a more of a more very strong, independent tone, like I don't need you kind of thing. But um, when it started to get up on stage and read it, I was starting to sound, I was starting to listen to myself, and I was like, dang, I sound like a preacher. Y'all want to hear a little bit of it? Here's uh, segment. <clears throat> I'm gonna tell you right now that it will take a fearless man to look at what he sees before him, clothes and all, and still try to go for it. It would take a brave man to pursue me, to accept me, to love me, because I am not afraid of the world. The world is afraid of me. And that's all I'm gonna say. Depending on how I feel, this may or may not end up on Facebook, which is in the link down below. So I know some of you've been noticing, you know, I'm kind of slacking on the parodies, you know. By next week, everything should be back to normal. I'll probably make another parody for y'all. And on my main channel, I'm probably going to be busting out, you know, busting out with a whole bunch of shits. Okay, so let's get on to the questions. So, first question, of course, comes from Ryan. And Ryan asks, asks, ooh, speaking of bonics there for a second. What do you think is inappropriate for YouTube? You're obviously asking the wrong person. But, you know, if I wasn't crazy and all and thinking logically, I would say nudity and um, sex and pornography is inappropriate for YouTube. Just, you know, the obvious stuff. Um, curse words, I don't know. But yeah, that's it. I don't, I'm sorry. I can't give a logical answer right now because my brain is very scattered right now and I kind of had a hurt headache by the end of school, so... Sorry if I sound a little retarded. Nima's question was, he wants to know something I like about myself. Well, I've been working on, you know, self-like lately for the past, like, four years. Because for the past whatever years of life I've been living besides those four years, I was pretty much hating myself, like, a lot. When I finally found what I wanted, I was like, oh my god, this is a new thing. I started one by one, like, putting it together. First it was the hair, and then it was the clothes, and then it was the makeup, and then it was the hair again. You see how I did that? You see how I did that? Yeah, it was amazing. I wouldn't say I'm conceited, but I do like looking in the mirror a lot and you know complimenting myself every so once in a while you should do that you know look in the mirror and you know pick out and look at you know all of your good features instead of picking out all the bad ones next question comes from Scott and he asks do I like to cry no I do cry I actually cried two weekends ago I was very sad well kind of heartbroken a little bit no a lot of it I was pretty heartbroken it was pretty devastating I kind of lost my mind. Um, I started talking to myself soon after I cried. And you know, this actually goes with Nima's question, what do you like about yourself? I don't really like this part about myself, but you know, I was taking photos of myself while I was crying. You guys can see those here. Um, 
And finally, Jeff's question is, how do you think I should do my hair? Do you think I have an accent list for what? Oh, he tried to put double questions on me. Now, Jeff, you know I am in love with hair on the head, to be specific. So, I think what you should do with your hair, I know you want to cut your shit, you want to keep cutting it off. Don't. I suggest, you know, grow it out a little. Grow it out a little. Because I like the buzz cut. It's cute. But grow it out a little more. I, I, I just, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just curious. I, I want to see what it looks like. I want to see. For the viewers that agree, put your comments down below. And blow up his daily blue. Yes. That's right. You heard it here first. Blow up his daily bloof. His links to his shit are down below. And for his second question, he, he asks, "Do I? Does he have an accent?" I, I've never. I haven't heard an accent. No accent. Just Jeff. So yeah, that's it for all of the questions. My question is, what was a very huge turning point in your life? Like when you've had an epiphany, for an example, or a sudden realization. For me, a major turning point in my life was when my dad was filming me and my brother. I think we still have the tape too. But he was filming me and my brother just randomly. He was just like, jump. So me and my brother both like jumped up in the air. And when he showed it back to us, we jumped up in the air and then we disappeared. And we were like, whoa, oh my god. You know, he made it look like we did like a magic trick or something. I was like, where'd we go? I was so amused. And that was the first time, you know, I had seen any kind of video camera or video effects. And I think that was the major thing that got me into what I am doing now and will be doing for the future. That was just me. What about you guys? Leave a comment or a video response below telling me, you know, what it is. I'm going to go now because it's a Friday night and I'm not going to be doing anything. But if you guys feel like coming over, please be more than welcome. I need some company. So, yeah, I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye. Love you. Okay, bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Bye.